Awesome. Now you say it's more marketable, but has it really made a difference? Can you tell the difference <laughs> from, from notes prior to 14 to after? I don't see the difference from people who already were doing it that way. We tended to make sure people could <laughs> qualify to pay. It sort of makes sense, right? It's always a plus. <laughs> it's nice and to like, make a loan and know that you're going to get paid back. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that's always nice. <laughs> and it did make a little bit of a difference. Uh, like we were used to documenting. That's my background. So I understood the documents. But for people who didn't, I think it forced some people who maybe were operating a little. Um, Willy nilly. Fast and loose. I was thinking something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, I think it did force them into uh, papering it up and qualifying a little bit better. So for the rest of us that were already doing that, it, it was just more burden. But that's all right. You adapt. You move on. You figure it out. That's awesome. Do you have institutional investors that are buying up uh, the seller of finance and papers and paper? And if that's the case, are they using that as a tool to buy them at a discount if they haven't been originated from a loan officer? That is a very good point. Yes, there there's institutional paper, uh, bank paper that will buy this and they do check to see if it meets an exemption. And if it doesn't, if it's been papered up appropriately and they may say no if it hasn't or they may uh, pay a different price so yeah very insightful that is happening out there it's a big market for the private investor too i mean a lot of this paper gets placed with self-directed ira money self-directed 401k money so all of those sorts of things awesome